guys, welcome to vlog number three, and today I am going for a, another run, um, and I just noticed there is an awesome car show going on down here, so we'll check it out and see what kind of cars have we passed. <laughs> Say hi. So this is Blue. We when we go run in, we always say hi to him. So yeah. So there was a car show back there, and from what I understand, it's just their car club, and they meet there in the summer every Sunday. So the whole road is blocked off. So. Hopefully it's not every Sunday, but I am getting ready to leave, so there was that. <laughs> Quite a few people. We have that car show going on, cops, people riding, cyclists, people keep passing. So, all right, so what are we going to talk about today? Let's talk today about peace, about feeling at peace with yourself. And how do you uh, get to the point of feeling at peace? First, you have to start by sacrificing things in your life that cause you immense stress. If it's a job, change your job. Do something you actually love. So that's the first thing you can change. Second, eating habits. Our bodies can go through havoc with what we eat. From everything greasy, processed foods, all that that enters your body does not allow uh, for proper digestion and vitamin absorption. So, so it's going to be tough for you to relax when your body's always out of whack trying to keep itself in balance with all the stuff you put in it. Um, another thing, huge thing, is meditation. Uh, meditating helps calm the mind. It decreases your stress levels. If you have too much cortisol in your uh, body, it will eat you alive, seriously. I've experienced it, it is not a good feeling. Uh, that's what got me into meditation and it has changed my entire life, my entire being. Um, another great, great thing to do is take a trip. You have to go somewhere that is going to enlighten your soul. So go somewhere fun. Go somewhere relaxing. You don't want to go to New York City um, to decrease your stress level. That is completely opposite of what will happen. <laughs> go somewhere, go camping by yourself. Go somewhere where you can escape, turn off the sound, avoid any stressors. It's just smart to take a trip, especially by yourself in order to to reset your butt. So, very good rule of thumb.
guys, I'm home now. Uh, please forgive me. I'm having trouble with my digital camera. It wanted to act up and I lost a lot of my files just like yesterday. So um, I'm going to say a quick goodbye. Um, but remember, stress doesn't have to be stressful. Stress is only happening to you because you let it. Make changes in your life and you will begin to see a huge difference in the way you feel. Drink water, meditate, make changes in your life, exercise, go on a small trip, go on a few small trips. And don't forget, above all, learn to love yourself, darn it. Another way that I've found to manage my stress is mindfulness. If you're mindful of others or mindful of your own self, and things that you do in society uh, or on a day-to-day -day basis, mindfulness will help weed out the things you don't need in your life and that'll naturally cause stress to dwindle away, which is what we're going for. So thanks for joining me today on this little talk and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will have another video up tomorrow for you guys. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like button down there. Peace out, world hippies.